Hello and welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a game that, despite being 13 years old, absolutely destroys another rally title that came out about three months ago. Yes, it's Richard Burns Rally. This weekend, curiosity got the better of me and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to install RBR and uh, try it out with the direct drive wheel. And I really wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. First off, those of you throwing up over your computer monitors due to the GoPro-like uh, falling off a cliff face footage will have noticed that the uh, game has full VR support. Now, obviously, when the game came out, it didn't have VR support because uh, it, it was basically, it came out when we were still using CRTs. I'm, I'm not even joking. The first time I played this game was on a CRT screen. That's how old it is. But thanks to Key Jetty's incredible virtual reality mod, the game now works with the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive and works in VR absolutely flawlessly. Not only because Key Jetty's is an absolutely bananas programmer, which we all owe a salute of gratitude to, but because the game is so old now, you can basically run this on a graphics calculator and still hit 90Hz to get that really crisp VR performance. The other advantage of course as well is that with it running so well you can pump up the super sampling and just have everything really super crisp that uh, negates the obvious low resolution issues that we still have with this current gen of VR headset. Outside of the VR, one of the nice things with Richard Burns Rally was just how good its force feedback was and you really don't need a direct drive wheel or top end wheel to enjoy its force feedback. In fact Richard Burns Rally was one of the first driving titles that that force feedback made sense to me and I could just jump in and drive it, it you know it just clicked and that was with the Logitech G25 well initially it was with the Momo black wheel and then the Logitech G25 now of course playing it with the direct drive wheel now uh, completely amps it up to another level not from running it at higher strength but just having that faster rotational speed really allows you to uh, let the car's self-aligning do a lot of that rotational work whereas with the g25 t300 and the momo black you, you really have to do a lot of that self-aligning yourself and really be on top of the simulator rather than just letting the car drive itself but as i say those consumer wheels with rbr are actually really good and my solution was always to turn the uh, the sensitivity up in the game you can go into the car setup options and make it so that there's more or less lock to tune the steering to your liking but with the direct drive wheel and uh, having it rotate and just be so precise and getting all those little you get the really nice uh, track texture details and little vibrations but you get the car load over bumps you get the feeling of the tires having grip or when you've locked up and they <laughs> the grip's gone you just go to the straight line it all comes together along with the physics to just make it absolutely superb and feel really pin sharp and i think that's what really stands out with the force feedback and the physics in rbr compared to uh, dirt 4 especially and a bit and also compared to dirt rally is that everything just feels so sharp in richard burns rally and concise and to the point you you really do just feel like it's you the road and the car and um, it, it's bloody hard, it's really punishing, especially when you come to the championship format and how the damage is done. Again, the damage in this is actually s somewhat realistic. But ultimately, there's just a real immediate sensation of depth, control and punishment from your mistakes rather than it being from the game being ambiguous or some weird thing in the game. Now, it's not perfect. I'd say the cars could do with a little bit more aero simulation in some ways. They do seem a little bit bouncy at times. And there are some issues on certain stages that those of you that are RBR fans are familiar with where the co-driver is a little bit off where they could do with maybe being a bit more obvious. But this is, of course, the stock version of the game. And there's a load of mods you can get that update the physics as well as a, an absolute bucket full of uh, tracks and stages and what have you. So... We'll go into them in another video, but for this video, what I wanted to do was literally just load the game up with the default installation, aside from the virtual reality, and just relive that initial Richard Burns Rally experience again, but with the new equipment. And um, yeah, it was just utterly blew me away. Now, another another point um, that, that I'd forgotten about with the game was just how good the, the driving school is. Now, because this was a fresh install and I wasn't using the Mulligatawny 
super cheat that unlocks all the stages. Um, it, fresh install forces you to at least start the basic driver training before you can then go on to begin doing the championship stages or the you know the full game, the full single player part of the game. And the driving school's amazing. It not only does it actually really immerse you into the fact that you're playing a simulator and makes you feel like you're a rally driver going through training because it doesn't have stupid condescending dude bro radio voice but actually Richard Burns is I think it's his real co-driver uh, talking to you in a normal way as if it's a simulator going oh this is what you need to do this is how a car handles this does this this does that give it a go and it, it, then you go through the lessons and it tracks how you're driving it will give you a demonstration first then you do it and it tracks how you're driving and then gives you a, a, a replay with a, a sort of analysis of how well you went through the mission objectives. And it's absolutely spot on. And I think if someone was coming to driving simulators, even outside of rally, if you want to go to, to track drive and get into that side of it, it explains stuff like what happens when you put the brakes on, how the rear's going to come out, uh, lift off uh, oversteer or um, p uh, power oversteer. All the subtleties of the of car handling that aren't initially immediately apparent if you're coming to driving games for the first time. I don't understand why when someone makes a rally game in 2017, they wouldn't just copy this because it's so good. It builds the titles, um, what's in the content of the title and actually gives you a more fleshed out single player. It adds to the immersion. It really sells the simulation part of it and that this is a realistic game to, that you could train with if you wanted to. Um, and it also teaches you something. Bloody amazing. Now, I know some of you Dirt 4 fanboys are going to be saying, oh, Dirt 4's got the Dirt Fish Rally School. It does, and it does do some of the stuff correctly, and I think it does introduce you to certain aspects of the vehicle and explain things to a basic level, but it just doesn't have the same structure and um, realism that RBR's lessons have and the way that it's set up in RBR, the structure to the lessons, the actual lessons that are in it, how the co-driver talks you just the whole package in rbr is way more convincing and let's face it i think the underlying physics and handling in rbr even at stock are just a world better than they are in dirt 4. i don't know how they did it with rbr and i don't know how codemasters didn't do a dirt 4. I, I know it's really complicated to to do driving simulators it's absolutely mental so not to really be too negative because the programmer that did dirt 4 would have been mental the programmers to, to get what they did get but fundamentally there's some magic under the hood of rbr that's just, just really lacking from from dirt 4 and you really notice it when it comes to the the rally score lessons and the subtleties of how the vehicles handle dirt rally strangely though i think is a little bit sloppy actually doesn't seem to suffer from from the core problems that the dirt 4 physics seem to have namely the uh, the, the, the way the back of the car reluctantly comes out but tends to only come out of brakes and doesn't sustain in the same way but sustains in a really what comes across a really baked um sort of uh we've just swapped the physics over to drift mode way it might not be that way it might not, it might actually be really dynamically programmed but that's just how it comes across in relation to when you go from dirt 4 which i played a lot of recently to to rbr rbr just feels really natural really progressive the transitions of the different car states it's just absolutely bang on the money and the rally school goes hand in hand with that to make something that's that's truly extraordinary so that's pretty much how a 13 year old game destroyed a recent title like a rally car driving into a cameraman at 230 miles an hour sorry codemasters back to the drawing board try again as for richard burns rally well we're gonna be playing some more of it of course <laughs> it's so good we're gonna be getting all the mods installed and probably breaking it but we'll uh rsrbr it we'll check out some of the physics mods definitely going to be checking out some of the tracks and uh, I'm, I'm really really excited to play this more in VR and more with the diet drive wheel I'll also have uh, some settings up for those of you with diet drive wheels um, because we're doing tinkering still so I didn't want to say them in this video as I've not nailed it perfectly and there seems to be some quirky things but there you go amazing don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to like us uh, 
or dislike us, you, you might be in a Codemasters Dirt 4 fanboy. Dislike it, I don't care. Drop us a, a comment. Uh, let us know what you would like to see from RBR videos in the future. Until the next one, guys, I'm off for a cup of tea. Thanks for watching and goodbye. This next lesson is my favourite. You've shown that you can handle a rally car at some pretty decent speeds. That's good, but there's still a lot to learn.